everybody. Well, today we're hanging out in the backyard. And yeah, we've had a shower and it was pretty intense. It was a really, really big downpour. So I'm back here. Just got feed for the animals and Helen and us, the rest of us are all wanting something good to eat. She's just like a pet. She just follows me everywhere. But, yeah, I brought him some, some feed. We were out of feed this evening and uh, decided it's time to eat. She'll eat anything. Good morning, everybody. It's time to come out to the garden. That looks like a rabbit. A rabbit has got that one. I will just take that one off and feed that to the chickens. And I got me another little basket today. And look at the squash. My goodness, they are coming in so fast, you all. Which I have been grilling them out every night, so. Plus, putting them in the freezer and canning them. There's another one. Well, it's really dewy and damp this morning. But I'm doing this before it gets really hot. And I think I'll lay these here while I walk around because they're kind of heavy. And we're going toward the cucumbers because I know I have a lot coming in. There's another squash. Wow, he got long. I'll just lay him down. See, we'll lay them as we go. So I don't have to care. There's another one. See him? Oh, he's kind of rotted on the bottom right there. So he's chicken food. There's chicken food right there. They'll be happy. Oh, I see a big old cucumber. Look right there, guys. See him? There he is. And the bees are pollinating everything this morning. They, these guys are so sticky. You know, I've been looking for squash bugs because all I've been seeing on the internet is everybody's squash bugs on the back. And I have seen none. Which, let me tell you what will cure or help with squash bugs if you have them. It's the only thing that my grandpa and my grandmother used to use on uh, squash bugs, on cucumbers, and, oh, there's two big ones, look. Three big ones. Gosh, I don't know why I'm getting these little twirly ones, look. There's another. But yeah, my grandma and grandpa, my dad, when we did gardens, what they would do for squash bugs is mix you up two or three tablespoons of dishwashing liquid. And back then they didn't have Dawn, they just had whatever soap they had in in the kitchen. And Put it in one of your squirt bottles and uh, walk around and spray your plants. And this will kill the squash bugs. And if you don't, they will barrel into the stem. Here's a squash seed. They will bar barrel into these stems and they'll get into it right there and they will 
kill your plant. Look at this beautiful bloom there. It, your plant will start dying and it'll be instant. And it's a big worm looking. But they lay. If I see some, I will show you, which I haven't seen any. And if I do, I'll be out here with soap water. But uh, they lay usually on the back side in the corner, like right in there, if you have squash bugs. And they'll have a whole bunch of little tiny. Fluff, what are you doing? Little wet feet. They'll have a whole bunch of tiny little red seeds looking, tiny little eggs in the corner. There's another one. Now, if you guys wonder what I do with all these, I can a lot. Sweet deal, relish. Um, and here's a, oh Lord, this one's huge. Oh my goodness. Guys, I didn't check yesterday because it rained three times, four times. That's huge. I'll lay that there. That goes to the chickens after we get the seeds. But, oh Lord, there's another huge one. You wonder what I do with all these. I give these away to my customers too. At work, I give them to a lot of friends, neighbors. I have dropped off. Oh. Okay guys, this is 10 minutes out here and I have another overload. And this was from this little, little rain we got. And I realized some of them, I mean, they just got way too big. And the ones that really got out of hand, I'm just going to cut them up, feed the chickens, and save all the seeds for next year.